Hey there, social media marketeers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a fantastic social media tool called Missing Letter. As always, we are here to provide you with honest reviews and explore tools that can supercharge your social media strategy. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our latest content. Now let's jump into the world of Missing Letter. All right guys, so here is Missing Letter. First of all, we are gonna check out its pricings. Then we are gonna check out what uh, where the lifetime deal is running for Missing Letter. All right, so monthly, a yearly first two months free. If we uh, pay, pay for yearly, then the first two months will be free. And if we pay for monthly, then it will be $9 per month. All right guys, so as you can see, we have the free forever pack, which is we're gonna offer us one workspace, one social media profile, 50 scheduled posts, and zero extra user. And then we have the solo pack, which is gonna uh, which is gonna give us one workspace, three social media profile, 500 scheduled posts, and one extra user. Then uh, we have the pro pack, which is gonna offer us three workspaces, nine social profiles, 3,000 scheduled posts, unlimited extra users, and 10 curated posts per month. So there are no more packs. Now let's go ahead and check out the lifetime deal on Missing Letter. All right, so we are gonna go to Missing Letter lifetime deal. So we have Missing Letter on Deal Mango, and then we have it on AppSumo, and then we have it on Digital, uh, digital Launchpad. And then we have Lifetimeo. Okay, I guess these four are gonna do it. So, well, Deal Mango is 403 forbidden. Okay, closing that. So we have uh, AppSumo, Digital Launchpad, and then we have Lifetimeo. So missing litter lifetime deal is gonna cost us $49 one-time payment. Is a social media, and let's click on Get Access, and. Well, it's just redirecting us to AppSumo, so we're gonna close Lifetimeo. Then we have Missing Letter on Digital Launchpad. It's gonna cost us $59, which is $500 value. We are saving 88%, not, not a problem. So, instant video site, all right, all right, let's see. 24K, trusted. And then we have the Lifetime deal. All right, so no money back guarantee on this one. Let's go ahead and check AppSumo. It's 59 here and it's 49 on AppSumo. So bye bye missing, I mean, bye bye digital launchpad. We are gonna save $10 and we are gonna go with AppSumo this time. So we are here with missing letter on AppSumo and you can stack codes one, two, and three. So let's scroll down and check out what the codes does. All right, we have 60 days money back guarantee. So even after purchasing the application, if you don't like it, you can just return it and get your money refunded within 60 days, which is really cool. So you can purchase it without worrying about if the app is good for you or not. All right, so here are the codes. So single code is gonna offer us three workplaces, nine social profile, 3000 scheduled posts, which is as, which is uh, equal to the pro package, which is gonna cost us $39 per month. And we are getting it uh, at $49 on lifetime deal for AppSumo. So it's a, I think it's a 100% win-win guys. And yeah, it's, it's really 100% win-win. And as you can see, if you buy two codes, it's gonna offer us six workplaces, 25 social profiles, 6,000 scheduled posts, and that plan is not even here. So even if I click view all features, it's scrolling down, yeah. So here we have agency and then we have enterprise. So as you can see after pro, we have agency and enterprise, which are not showing here, but we can, um, we can assume that this is the agency and this is the enterprise package. All right, so as you can see guys, these are what the code does. Uh, six workplaces, unlimited workplaces. So if you have an entire enterprise, then of course the multiple pack is for you. But if you have a medium company or you your personal project, then of course the single, the single code will do the trick. 
All right, so back to missing letter. Now, before we dive in deeper, let me give you a brief about Missing Letter. Missing Letter is an intelligent social media platform designed to automate and optimize your social media campaigns. It claims to save you time and efforts by turning your blog posts into captivating social media content. All right, so let's explore its features and see if it's the missing piece to your social media puzzle. Now, here is the sign up option, but since I already have an account, I'm gonna click on sign in. But if you don't have an account, click on sign up so we are gonna insert insert our email and password and click on continue Alright guys, so here is the dashboard as you can see if you don't purchase the application uh, the, the trial will end in three days You can just click upgrade now here, but uh, it, you will have to play pay the regular price But in order to not pay the regular price you can go to AppSumo and get the codes uh, by the way, the code, the link to the app Sumo is provided down below in the description. Make sure to check that out. So here's our account. Let's let's check the overview of the app. Okay. So here's our account. Uh, we can go to dashboard, our account, billing, Facebook community. Well, here is Help Center. We can refer and earn fifty dollar. We will join their affiliate program. All right, which is pretty nice. So here we have our, our workspace, which is App Unbox, and then. Uh, in app unbox so we have our dashboard so you can select multiple workspaces uh, maybe i will not be able to select multiple workspaces let me try okay app unbox 2.0 so let's see if i'm able to create multiple workspaces in free accounts all right guys it looks like i am able to create multiple workspaces in free accounts but after 13 days i will not be able to create multiple workspaces and i will i will need to use the free account and i will have limitations so here is the dashboard then here's campaigns here's curate here's schedule here's analytics and then we have the settings all right so starting with the dashboard first of all we are gonna have to connect our social profile all right guys so let's go ahead and connect to our linkedin profile so here it is now we are gonna authorize our linkedin allow so as you can see guys our linkedin profile has been connected to missing letter all right, so after that we have the, our profile in the settings and here we have workspace general and etc general posting okay so let's see all right so workspace the URLs not no nothing here let's go back to dashboard guys social media profile connected and now we are, we're gonna add a content source all right guys so add a content source we're gonna have a YouTube channel Sign in with Google. We're going to select our email. Now we're going to click on allow. All right, so we're going to select our channel and save it. Now we're going to go to campaign drafts. Let's see where it redirects us. All right, so here's our YouTube channel. Now we're going to go back to dashboard. So we can schedule our first social post, then set up our curate profile. Okay, we're gonna do it later. We're gonna uh, do the curating profile later. All right, now we're gonna go to calendar and schedule our first post, social post. So here is 24th of July note or post. So let's uh, leave a note first. We can create a note that welcome to calendar was the short video we are not going to watch it read something all right this is a note to test out so we're going to save it as you can see we have a note here so if you want uh, to be reminded about something then you can leave notes in that specific date and if you want to post you can just click on post we are not going to post anything on 24 july we're going to post on 25 july so let's go ahead and here we have share fresh content to your uh, share fresh content your audience will love uh, I want to write the post from scratch. Okay, so you can have curated content or new posts. So first of all, we are going to try new post. So scheduled, all right, choose a custom time. 
We're going to choose 1658. No way. 1655. There has seemed to be a problem. Text has not been sent. Okay, so we need to let's select text. All right, now let's uh, write down something. And this post is a test post for missing missing letter okay now uh, we can save it as draft we can add uh, use a code save link we can use a code bubble image or we can use a an actual image all right so let's go ahead and select an app actual image uh, what am i going to select so all right so i'm going to select this let's try and select this one Although it's not an image, it's a GIF, so let's see how it handles GIFs. <laughs> because there is Giphy here, so we might be able to handle GIFs. Well, it's taking quite a lot to upload the image. So I guess GIFs are not supported, so make sure to upload an image. Okay, so GIFs are supported here, but it took it took a lot, a lot of time, so no, we are not fixing this. Dismiss. All right, now we are going to schedule the post, okay? So choose custom time. It's going to be 17, 55, no, 16, 12, 55. So we're going to schedule it for 25 July, 12, 55. So here we have it, 12, 55. The post has been scheduled. It will be posted automatically on my LinkedIn profile tomorrow. All right, guys, so we're going to go back to dashboard and see what are left. So as you can see our dashboard, I mean initial tasks are done. So guys now we are going to move to campaigns. Now let's see what we have here. As you can see guys no drip campaigns, I mean drive traffic on pilot is available. Welcome sir drip away campaign, we don't need tutorial. So we, uh, we are going to be able to short our campaigns, published newest first to published oldest first. Then we have created and click. So no active campaign is running so what how can we add campaign oh there it is the campaign add button but i have go i went to the settings so here is the campaign settings which is in general we're going to check that out later we're just going serially from the top so here we are going to click on the plus button so to create a drip campaign from a URL, enter its URL below and press the next button. So we're gonna enter our URL of our website. So app unbox. Let's go. One moment, please. We're busy doing clever things. Really? Okay, so we can't go next now. So we're gonna wait one moment then. Oops, there was a problem. Did you enter a valid URL? If you did, your site might be blocking a uh, missing letter. Please read here to resolve this issue. So let's see why my site is blocking missing letter. So how do I find any of my plugin? All right, so here is it. Uh, what do I need to do once I've located the plugin responsible? Mm, all right. The IP addresses you need to whitelist. So we only we're gonna need to whitelist these IP addresses. Then the missing letter, then the missing letter bot will be able to gather data to run campaigns. So I do, I do have to go to the website's backend and enter those IPs. I mean whitelist those IPs, which is a really lengthy process. So I'm just gonna close this. But that's how you can add your drip campaigns by entering your website url here then clicking on next all right so the campaign is done now let's see how what we have in curate here is a curate we can discover browse publishers promote okay so we're going to create curate profile so i mean set up now we have another tutorial here we can watch it or just close it so categories our category will be hmm, all right, so our category have to be science or technology. All right, here it is, technology and computer. Big data. Technology reviews. So we're gonna select this category. Okay, so the category has been selected. Now we're gonna select tag or topic. Software. Software review right 
language will be English. Hmm, there seem to be something stuck here. All right, so language English selected. All right, now we're gonna have to select the country. So here is the United States of America. The country has been selected. Only show suggestions from these countries. Okay, now media type, articles, videos, audios, and social posts. Restrict suggestions to secure HTTP links only. Uh, so we're not gonna restrict that because we have we have really small options and then we have the match so we have oh wow we can select options that what we want to do we want to match or don't match so here we, that's a good thing now we can also select that which options we don't want to match so you can block options like adult sites or betting sites which is a great one now we have minimum word count mm, so uh, word count for Applies to articles only. Okay, word count for article will be minimum word count will be one thousand. Okay, now let's save it. Please uh, select at least one category that you write about or that you like to share with your audience. Mm -hmm. All right, so select at least one category. I have selected a category. Oh, I have to select these categories. No, they are selected. So what are you talking about, man? I've selected the categories. Let's go ahead and select more category, science, no, technology and computer again, custom software, go on. Then we have, um, then we have, what else are we going to select? We are going to select PC support. Sure, why not? All right, custom software and PC support. Let's go ahead and try to save it. All right, it worked. So some more of for some reason, the option that we selected early on, it didn't work. All right, that could be a bug. If it didn't work, why was it even there in the first place, right? So here we have discover for you, trending, new release, and bookmark. Let's see what we can add here, guys. So here we have an adding option, content from a previous campaign or any other external content. So we're gonna select any other external content because we are unable to set up campaigns. Now we're going to select platform, but uh, here we are going to select a LinkedIn because we don't have any other uh, social media profiles logged in. The untitled campaign, can we change the name? Well, we can't change the name. So we are going to select, uh, this is a test cam pain of missing, okay, missing letter, done. Now we're going to publish it. No title set, it doesn't look like you set a title. Oh, all right, I was unable to set the title, man. Why do you think I haven't set any? So the title, oh, here is the title. Okay, now, missing. So here's the title and then enter URL. You want to, I can't read it. Let's zoom out. Well, I still can't read it. You can enter the URL you want to pro. Okay, I don't know what this is trying to say into the URL that you want to pro. Then damn, you should have uh, you should have written the whole the whole thing, man, or you should have left an option to expand the thing so we could read the whole thing. Here we have categories again. No, we are not going there. Okay, we're just gonna try to publish again. So let's see what category it suggests. No, we don't want support. Now let's go back to technology again. Well, technology is not available or what? Oh, it's available, all right. We just had to zoom out. Let's select something, computer reviews. All right, no problem. Software review. Language, it's gonna be English again. So there we have it. Promote, uh, what? We have 100, uh, we have 104K audience already. Oh, how, where did they came from?
So guys, here is the curated contents. You can set up your curated contents from this page and you can curate contents based on any other website by selecting them from your campaigns. You, so you have to go to campaigns and so select a website profile where you can extract their articles and then you can create, I mean, you can curate your post, social media posts by using the campaign that you have a schedule that you have created earlier on. Now we're going to go to schedule and see what's here. So mainly we have the calendar here. So uh, what what we have scheduled and what's coming up, you know, everything will be shown in this calendar. As you can see, uh, if I post anything, and then if I post anything in 26th of July, then it will be here in 26th July's box. So we're gonna go to day view. So there is no nothing in 24. Then we have the day view of 25 July and here is the post that we have scheduled and it will be scheduled at 25 July all right so here we have the monthly view so let's go ahead and check the 25 well this is not really good uh, this is not really good to view but if you want to find contents as uh, you can see if you if we have more posts then it will be uh, let me write a note here to just demonstrate So here we go and we have written, I have written a note at 25 July so as you can see it will be uh, stacked if in monthly view like this so if you want to uh, search a post and you and you want to search broadly uh, so then you can move to mon uh, monthly view as you can see you can move to monthly view from here and then you can go check out which week it's in and then you can go back to weekly view and find that week where it is then you can view it from here or you can also view it from there that's not a problem but it's good to view it from here as you can see i can see the entire post pictures and everything that's written so here we have posting status as you can see published scheduled everything will be shown here and uh, if we uh, deselect our profile then which profile was scheduled it's not going to be viewed here so we're going to select our profile so that profile can be viewed here then we have tags viewing all drip campaign curated content and no label this one is currently under no label because we have created that manually then we can also create drip campaigns and then we have users but uh, if you have multiple users to manage your social media then all the users posts will be viewed here now let's go to analytics so guys we have another tutorial here which we will close without even looking at it then we are waiting for data so after uh, you have lots of posts and your social media page has grown bigger then you will be able to get lots of data from here like total clicks for your post clicks by social profile uh, which location you're getting traffic from uh, well i can't go see okay how your social profiles are working where your clicks are coming from and also somewhere you're going to be able to see which time is the best time to post at this time you are getting most of the viewers and all these data and trust me numbers don't lie so this analytics is a really helpful feature guys then we are going to dive into the settings and see what we have here so first of all we have the workspace settings so under workspace settings we have general So in general, we have our workspace name and workspace the URL snug. So as you can see, site slash URL. So we can change the URL or the name of our workspace from here. Then we have posting social so profiles. As you can see, I have social profile set here, which I can also pod sending or delete the profile if necessary. Or if you think that you have changed your password, then you'll have to reconnect and enter the password of your current webs, a current social media profile and reconnect with it. Alright, so here uh, you can also add Mastodon server URL here and update it. Then we have dates and time. Let's see what is in dates and time here. So we are going to have to select our time zone from here. <coughs> so from here, we can select our time zone. All right. So we are going to select uh, US Central. Then we're going to select start of the week, which is the start of the week. Well, Monday is start of the week for me. So I'll keep it in Monday. Then we have blacklist dates. So, okay, blacklist dates. 
so which day will be blacklisted in month you can select so I'm gonna select day 7 okay blacklist dates 7 9 select month January okay so it's blacklist day of I'll, I'm gonna select 19 January 29 January sorry so here is a blacklisted date and now we are gonna select another one which is 29 February how about 30 February so let's see okay 31st February doesn't exist guys but I have blacklisted the date also let's go ahead and blacklist 29 February add date all right as you can see it works pretty well then we have the sending dates you custom date slots per social profile you can set custom date slots per social profile like if I want to change my LinkedIn social profile I can customize it like this if I want voila or we can just select no and then we have sending time slots auto auto and choose random time slot you can choose a random time slot alright so we're gonna choose a random time slot automatically I want to set manually set time okay so automatic timing is best because it uh, gets data from analytics and posts on the best time to get more uh, to get more engagement on your posts now we have we're gonna go to content branding so here we have floating caption we can customize it for our workspace this is a sample text to show you this template will look all right this looks pretty cool so we can use this on our posts which is really nice if you want to use it on your post then you can do it without any problem so our background type you know we can select custom image or extract image from any post now we are not going to do anything else we're just going to cancel everything out here reset settings yes reset them okay save and close then we have custom fonts no custom fonts found to add new one new press add font button so we can add custom fonts from here we can go to google font library and download custom font for our code bubbles and here are the drip campaign uh, settings here but we are not going there we are going to go to curate general so new engaged edition so um, how often do we want suggestions for our curated posts well we want it weekly new promote uh, suggestions so we are also gonna have it weekly as you can see guys curate is available to detect your high performing content and social posts and from this can make suggestions regarding those that we think will perform well when shared by other curate users all right so that's great then we have auto schedule we can turn on curate auto scheduling but uh, since we don't have enough analytics data this one works with analytics data so we are going to turn it off because we don't want auto curation schedules at the moment by the way you can also delete your workplace from right here so if you're done with your workspace and you don't want to continue or maybe for some reason you don't want to continue anymore you can just go here and delete the workspace so guys that's so that's entirely what missing letter will do for you i think it's a really helpful feature that does that um, does its analytics and posts our uh, social media posts automatically by curating them with our website extracting articles from it and lots of other things so guys thanks for joining us today as we explore missing letter if you're interested in trying out this powerful social media platform you can find the link in the video description below if you found this review helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow social media marketeers and remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you never miss our latest reviews and tips. If you have used Missing Letter before or have any questions, share your thoughts in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy social media marketing with Missing Letter. See you in the next video.